What happens when you spend years in a relationship with a narcissist who systematically gaslights you, who regularly convinces you that what you remember is not true, who makes you doubt your own reality? You experience something called cognitive dissonance. In this video, we're gonna talk about cognitive dissonance and what it looks like. But first, will you do me a favor and subscribe to my channel? That's how these videos are going to get in front of more of the people who really need to hear this information. I'm Victoria McCooey. I'm a narcissist divorce coach, a motivational speaker, and the creator of the Reclaim Your Power system. I help people every day who are right where you are, stuck in abusive marriages to narcissistic spouses, or already engaged in a contentious divorce from one. So what is cognitive dissonance? It's the state of confusion that's created when you hold two conflicting beliefs at the same time. This is very common for victims of narcissistic abuse. You have been gaslighted. You have been regularly told that what you remember never happened, that things happened that you don't remember, that what you think is true is not true. This is why you doubt what's true in your mind. You have, you're holding on to two separate conflicting beliefs at one time. So here's what that might look like. I never said that. Or you are remembering that wrong. Or one day you are on a pedestal and the next day you're discarded. So you're holding two different beliefs. You're holding the belief that you are worthy and the belief that you're not worthy at the same time. This causes this dissonance, this inability to know which of these beliefs is true for you. So what does cognitive dissonance do to a victim? It makes you confused. It makes you doubt your reality. It makes you paralyzed, unable to make a decision. You're not sure of what you believe anymore and you over apologize. You think that everything is your fault. You think that you're not remembering things correctly. Um, you take the blame for everything. And this is exactly where the narcissist wants you to be. Now it's so easy to control you. So what can you do? How can you combat this? If you recognize it, what can you change so that you can get stronger? You can keep a journal. And believe me, this is not so you can show your narcissist, you see, I wrote this down, it's not true, I'm right. They're never going to say, fine, you're right, I'm wrong. That's never going to happen. This is just for you. This is just for you to know that you have a sense of reality. You know what happened. You are being victimized. Get in the habit of writing down every night what happened that day because you don't know what the narcissist is going to try to twist in your mind. So you'll have that information written in the day that it happened and you can rely on the fact that that's the truth. That is your reality, no matter what anyone tells you. So that way you can get strong and then you can get out. Is this you? Do you think you're suffering from cognitive dissonance? If you would like to talk to me, you can book a free call on my calendar. There will be a link below in the description. We can talk about what's happening to you, what's going on, and I will give you my best advice for how you might be able to move forward. Did you find value in this information? I hope you did. If you liked this video, will you please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I've linked a couple of other videos here that I think you might also like, so I hope I see you in the next video.